here is that I have a ski jumper, um, you know, coming down, and then he takes takes off at some angle, uh, and I'm saying that he's going to leave at 20 meters per second at a 20 degree angle, and then the hill is a three, four, five triangle. So the question becomes, you know, where does he or she land? Um, so like any other, any of these problems that we've done so far, the first step is to uh, write position um, of the skier as a function of time in the x direction, position of the skier as a function of time um, in the y direction. And so, um, and then once we've done that, we come up with um, the t as a function of time that, that it, if I know the x position, I know how long he has he or she has been traveling for. So with that, I can come back to this initial uh, y equation and plug that in and get an equation for the skier um, that says, it, which is an x as a, as a function of time um, <clears throat> equation. And so now I have basically um, two, I have two lines. I've got a line that looks like this, which is the ski slope, and then I have a line that looks like that, which is the skier. And then the question becomes, at what point do they, do they intercept? So I'll set these two equations equal. Um, just as a reminder, um, I have, this is a three, four, five triangle, then basically effectively what I have is an equation of the form y is equal to mx, and in this case, uh, y is equal to minus 3 fourths rise over run times x. And so what I've done is I've taken this y, set it e taken this y, set it equal to that y, um, and then made the assumption <laughs> that the <clears throat> initial height is zero. And then at that point, it just becomes a matter of substituting in what I know. So I know um, you end up with this v0 sine <clears throat> theta over cosine theta. That's, that goes to tangent. Um, this comes over here and goes to uh, x squared v squared over cosine squared of theta. Um, and if you go through all of this, there actually turns out to be two solutions. One is if x equals 0. The other solution is x equals 78.7. And then you ask yourself, does that, hold on a second, does that make sense? Um, and I say, well, is 78, so if 78.7 is my, is my x position, that gives me a time of 4.2 seconds. Plug that 4.2 into my y equation, and then do I end up with well, what do I end up with for y? I end up with 59.5 meters, and then I can confirm that um, that fits the equation. Y is equal to minus three fourths. X and then plug goes in and it works. Yes, your question. Isn't that the initial position of the car that causes the That's a great question. That is for the problem that's on. So I was just doing a general, I was doing a general problem. Um, that I thought this problem in some ways, but they're just different problems. Any other questions? Anybody want to say hi for the camera? Hi, camera. Okay, there you go. <laughs> 